Page 24. Unit 14. What happened in the story? Lesson 1. Activity 1. Look, listen, and repeat. A. Watermelons are so delicious. We have a Vietnamese story about watermelons called The Story of My Aunt Yum. Oh, really? What happened in the story? B. First, King Hung ordered Mai An Chim and his family to live on an island. The island was very far away. Then, one day, An Chim found some black seeds and he grew them. The seeds gave watermelons. C. Next, An Chim's family exchanged the watermelons for food and drink. D. Oh, they were lucky in the end, right? In the end, King Hung heard about the story, and he let An Chum and his family go back home. Page 24. Activity 2. Point and say. What happened in the story? First, King Hung ordered Mai An Tiam and his family to live on an island. The island was very far away. A. King Hung ordered Mai An Tiam and his family to live on an island. The island was very far away. B. One day, An Tiam found some black seeds and he grew them. The seeds gave watermelons. C. Antium's family exchanged the watermelons for food and drink. D. King Hung heard about the story and he let Antium and his family go back home. Page 25. Activity 4. Listen and number. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. She lived in a very big castle. She was unhappy because she couldn't walk. One day, a prince visited the castle and met the princess. He wanted to help her. He gave her an apple and said, this magic apple can make you walk. The princess ate the apple. Then, the next morning, the princess woke up. She was so surprised because she could walk. She felt very happy. She ran and danced in the castle. In the end, the prince and the princess got married, and they lived happily ever after. Page 25. Activity 6. Let's sing. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Page 26. Lesson 2. Activity 1. Look, listen, and repeat. A. What are you doing, Linda? I'm reading The Golden Starfruit Tree. B. Oh, I read it last week. What do you think of the two brothers? 
I think the older brother is very greedy. C. Yeah, you're right. How about the younger one? He's very kind. D. Do you like the story? Yes, I do. We can learn a lesson from it. Don't be so greedy. Page 26. Activity 2. Point and say. What do you think of the mouse? I think it is intelligent. A. The mouse. Intelligent. B. Auntie M. Hard working. C. The older brother. Greedy. D. Snow White. Kind. Page 27. Activity 4. Listen and tick. 1. What story do you like best? I like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. What do you think of the main character? I think she's kind. 2. What are you reading, Peter? I'm reading the story of my Auntie M. What do you think of my Auntie M? I think he's hard working. 3. What are you reading, Nam? Aladdin and the Magic Lamp. What do you think of Aladdin? He's generous. Page 28. Lesson 3. Activity 1. Listen and repeat. What happened in the story? First, King Hung ordered Mai An Tiem and his family to live on an island. Then one day, An Tiem found some black seeds and he grew them. Next, An Tiem's family exchanged the watermelons for food and drink. In the end, King Hung let An Tiem and his family go back home. Page 28. Activity 2. Listen and circle A or B. Then say the sentences aloud. 1. First, the poor girl went to the forest. 2. Then she met an old man. 3. Next, he gave her three wishes. 4. In the end, she married a prince. Page 28. Activity 3. Listen to the story. The Fox and the Crow A long time ago, there was a fox and a crow. The crow stood on the roof of a house with a piece of meat in its beak. The hungry fox was standing on the ground. The fox asked the crow, Can you give me some meat? The crow shook its head. Then the fox asked, Can you dance? The crow shook its head. Then the fox asked, Can you sing? Yes, the crow opened his beak and said. He dropped the meat on the ground. The fox picked up the meat and said, Ha ha, thanks for the meat.